Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel from our Tech Time Review and another pills from Saxon. This one is from Einsiedel Brauhaus and uh, it's located in Chemnitz in Saxon and it comes in this long neck bottle, uh, dark long neck bottle, which is a very popular bottle shape for many breweries um, in whole Germany actually and for many pilsners. The benefit of this bottle is, if, as far as I understand, that you can drink directly from the bottle, but that's not a good thing in my opinion because uh, you should unleash the right taste uh, by pouring it up into the glass, of course. Uh, and it's the pills from this brewery that I'm choosing to review because uh, I believe it's one of the most sold beer styles from this brewery. Of course, always the right time for pills from Saxon, uh, close to the Czech border, Chemnitz. And giving a really great impression, this brewery, Einsiedlo Pilsner. I'm having some other beer styles from this brewery, but I'm choosing the pills right now. You can see the top label and the crown cap, I see low bauhaus. And the back label, of course, I'm going to read the information from that later on in the review for you. But this I see low pills now is really, really giving a great impression, in my opinion. Um, I see low pills now. So, as I mentioned, all it's right time for pills from Saxon. And uh, let's open up the bottle of this I see low pills. And smoke coming out, showing me that it's really fresh. Let's pour it up into the for beer style well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for beer style that you're enjoying. In this case, I think the this glass fits really nice with the uh, with the uh, beer style. There we it all into the glass. Fantastic, um, fantastic foam head, I would say. Which is so important to the pills. Let's take a, a look at the label once again. A little bit short. Nach dem deutschen Rheinland's Geburt gebaut und abgeführt in Chemnitz, Sachsen, Einsiedler Bauhaus, founded 1885, Pilsner, Feinherbe und Hopfen Würzig, die Kunst, handwerklich Brauens, Elke Kundet 4.9 Percent Volume, Einsiedler Bauhaus, Privat seit 1885, Zutaten Brauhaus, Rick Asmals Hopfen. Uh, and some more information that I'm gonna do later on in the review, but let's take a look at this fantastic one and put the bottle right here. Uh, nice two finger white foam crown, just the way it should be. Very, very thick white foam crown, as you can see. Important to build up during the pouring and maintain all the way through because it unleashes the right aromas from the, from the ingredients and from the hops. Nice golden color of it in its appearance, fantastic. Um, Nice white foam crown that locks the right taste. Important to maintain it all the way through while you drink because it uh, locks the right taste in the glass. So, let's get the aroma, which is fantastic, of course. Really, really defines what's uh, all, all good things what Pils is about and what I want from Pils, in my opinion. Really, something special with the hops taste, the fresh aromatic hops, dry bitterness taste in this one. So, let's give it a try. The Einsiedler Pils Post. Oh, yeah, really, really full and rich. Hops taste fantastic one that really, really um, is um, making you taste it directly. <sighs> Amazing pills, I would say. Really stands out to, uh, comparing to other pills, not this one. So if you're a pill stopper, this one is something that you really, really should try, in my opinion. The taste of it is extremely great. Uh, so big, uh, big recommendation regarding this Einsiedler Pils, in my opinion. Some information here on the back label. Der Kerner kräftig gehopfte Biere wird unser handwerklich gebrautes Pils nach Leben ein Ersthalt äh, in hellem Glanz, gekrönt von einem kompakten Schaumgebirg, das äh, in federleichtem Schneeweiß schimmert. Frische, blumische Hopfendüfte, ein schmanker und graziler Körper so wie die kräftige und ausgewogene Hopfenbittere überzeugen der Pilzliebhaber. Ein Pilz, das äh, hält, was es verspricht. Einzelner Bauhaus, Einzelner Hauptstraße 144-09-123 Chemnitz. Telefonnummer 0, Einzelner.de ist der Link to the website, as I mentioned. Uh, Alcohol Control from Part 9, Person Volume. Some short information from this uh, website. Einzelner Bauhaus GmbH is a mid-sized brewery located in Chemnitz, near the Czech border. It all started in 1885 when machinery, industrial, 
Mr. Emil Schwalbe established a brewery in Einsiedel near Chemnitz. During the 20th century, the brewery uh, went through an eventful history. Einsiedel is a tiny place situated in the foot of the Ore Mountains, part of the Bohemian Massif, the free state of Saxony. The place Einsiedel was incorporated by Chemnitz in 1996. Uh, in 1885, Emil Schwalbe had a luminous idea by purchasing a few local farms on the outskirts of Einsiedel that provides excellent well water. On the same location, Emil Schwalbe started to build his brew. Uh, the newly built brew house in the background of the lottery town had a capacity of 300 hectolitres. The brew house consists of four more parts a mash town, a mash pan, a lottery town, and a wort kettle could produce 1,200 hectolitres daily. The brewhouse was destroyed considered considerably at the World War II, but rebuilt at the original style. We still brew in the same brewhouse today. Um, and much, much more information on the website. So I really recommend that you're visiting the website and to find out more about this Einsiedel Pilsner and the brewery Einsiedel Bauhaus from Chemnitz in Saxony. Uh, but I think that's it for now regarding the information over this one. Hope like my and see you again in the next German beer review.